not any serious evidence of voter fraud, we know what they're doing. Georgia and Arizona are both overflowing with evidence of voter fraud, but Schumer doesn't want you to look at it. Don't believe the evidence, just listen to me. After the mountains of evidence coming out in Georgia, the only logical explanation for Schumer's statement is that he knows Democrats cheated and he just doesn't want you to believe it. How can he honestly say there is no evidence when both Fulton County and Maricopa County have admitted to problems? Fulton County is unable to account for thousands of chain of custody documents from drop boxes. Maricopa County certified results don't match the ballots. But right, just believe Schumer. Hey, at least Democrats are finally responding. You know we've got their attention when they're actually deciding to acknowledge claims of voter fraud. Kamala Harris praised a group of Texan Democrats who threw a temper tantrum and fled the state because Texas wants to protect election integrity. They all know Democrats don't stand a chance in upcoming elections unless they can cheat. Americans don't want what Democrats are serving, so they will likely be replaced. Rather than protect Texans' right to fair elections, they flood the state. And Kamala Harris applauded them. Um, you all know I've been traveling, and as most recently as yesterday when I was in Detroit and heard of your courageous stand, I talked about exactly what I believe about the courage and the commitment and the patriotism <laughs> that you all have evidenced. What a cunt. Oops, sorry. In addition to your work and your words. This is not the American way. The entire state legislature needs to support the will of the people. Democrats' refusal to perform their obligated duties because they know they'll lose is nothing short of an admission that their party cheats. Democrats cheat and now are quite literally on the run. Chuck Schumer also jumped on the bandwagon to try to defend the Texan Democrats who are derelict in their duties. This is subversion and an obstruction of government function. Yet, Schumer applauds it and lies to the American people to cover for them. What's happening in Texas by the GOP legislators and governor is just outrageous. These lawmakers are brave, they're courageous, and they're simply fighting for the right of every Texan to have the right to vote. They can vote, you lying piece of shit, and they did in record numbers. We keep seeing this. Who in Texas, or anywhere in the country for that matter, is complaining that they can't vote? Democrats are protecting ghosts. No one is coming forward saying they are deprived the opportunity to meaningfully vote. It's a lie. And with that, it's time for the closing argument. The times are turning. The fight for election integrity is finally breaking the surface. The Arizona Senate held a bombshell briefing this week that confirmed what many suspected. There were problems with the Arizona election and the audit results do not match the verified certified results by the state. Was there fraud in Arizona's 2020 election? Maybe. A further criminal investigation would certainly reveal any fraud. Did Maricopa County mismanage the election so badly that they legitimately have no idea who actually won the state of Arizona? It looks that way. And Maricopa County is still refusing to acknowledge that they completely messed up their election. The fact that they refused to turn over the routers logs and passwords just leads everyone to believe that they are hiding fraud. It's better to let the country think they are incompetent rather than criminals. Time will tell. Will Arizona's Attorney General Mark Brnovich step up and open a criminal investigation? He's got good reason to. The Arizona audit is simply the beginning and the rest of the country seems to be following suit. Pennsylvania made waves this week when Joe Biden himself took time to stop in Philadelphia to protest any forensic investigation into the 2020 election. Think about that. Joe Biden was a candidate in the 2020 election. He's now in office. At a time when a large percentage of the country questions whether he legally holds that office, Biden is using, or more accurately, misusing his authority to undermine the Pennsylvania state legislature. Biden is trying to undermine a legitimate state function authorized by the United States Constitution from taking place for the sole purpose of concealing any fraud or negligence that could possibly be responsible for him winning the state. That is massive overreach and an abuse of power.
That is what dictators do, not American presidents. The Pennsylvania Senate, or more appropriately, Senator Mastriano, has made clear he intends to give the people of Pennsylvania what they are asking for, a full forensic investigation. Donald Trump has also been very vocal about election fraud, but he hasn't done anything to intervene. He delayed any rally in Arizona until after the audit had completed. He simply made comments from afar. Joe Biden went to Pennsylvania within days of hearing of this effort to try to intimidate, sway, or simply counter message the forensic investigation. The problem is that Joe Biden doesn't have the base that Donald Trump has. No one showed up to see Joe Biden. To make it worse, he had his little speech at the Constitution Center and only let in a handful of leftist media. Biden simply checked the box his handlers made up for him by showing up in Pennsylvania to make a statement countering the efforts of Doug Mastriano. Despite the fact that the appearance was inappropriate for a candidate on the ballot to make, Democrats failed to take one thing into account. No one cares what Joe Biden says. There's not one person on this planet who believes Joe Biden has any idea what he's talking about, <laughs> whether he is actually in control of anything. We are all painfully aware that there's a small group of handlers who cover up everything for Joe Biden. None of us really know who is making the decisions. We just know it's not Joe Biden. So this dog and pony show of Biden going to Pennsylvania to talk about voter integrity is such a farce. The Pennsylvania Senate is in for a battle but it's a battle the Senate should win. Voices and Votes is an organization I started to help state legislatures investigate their elections. We're helping Pennsylvania conduct their forensic investigation and helping their imminent legal battle for the right to inspect elections at all. Pennsylvania needs the nation's support. If you want to contribute to the efforts in Pennsylvania, you can do so at voicesandvotes.org. Remember to watch Weekly Briefing every Saturday and Sunday at 2 p.m. Eastern. I'm Christina Bob. Thanks for watching. Thank you.